even the network does not want me to be great <laughs> i finished doing almost a 15 minutes live video and it disappeared i have changed my network my name is okoro blessing in kiroka and i'm popularly known as blessing ceo i want to talk about anima calling and two faces marriage a lot of people have been asking me to put my out inside this matter blessing took me out inside this matter you're a relationship expert and i'm choking out inside this matter okay now hold on i quickly want to paint the topic a quick one many of you will come and say blessing look remind your business mind your business mind your business shut up your mouth anything that leaves your private life and come on the social media is our business your business is our business the moment you can no longer privatize it it has leaked it is now our business so first of all before i start this video i want to say something i'm a fan of two-face i'm a fan of two-face right from childhood two-face is my crush if it's a celebrity crush for guys two-face i love Annie macaulay but i love two-face more because right from um, childhood two-face is the one that's making me feel like an african queen so this message is not coming out of hate i don't hate anybody i'm being factual now before we start to analyze the message that leak there's a message that is going all over social media that animacoli is fetish and the brother came and wrote that animacoli did this one macaulay did that one let's first of all try, start by saying animacoli wherever you are beautiful i give you full chest you are a woman you be you try you try to marry two faces dibia with so much baggage baby girl you try and you've been there for how many years kudos to you my darling i give it to you now woman you be take the, take, take her for a year first thing first let's quickly analyze the story this is the story that we know not the one that we don't know you know we don't really know what happened in the marriage and to add everything that is happening in two faces and anima Collis marriage is normal marriage is meant there's meant to be bad boys there is meant to be misunderstanding so what is happening in their marriage is normal the reason why i'm putting mouth inside this matter is because i'm seeing some comments that is irritating my stomach that's the reason why i decided to address it first of all before two face had different baby mamas best known to him hmm? and macaulay was in the picture and macaulay was in the picture this man was sleeping around with different women like i said best known to him he did not just sleep with them he slept with them without condom and impregnated them. It's okay. No problem. Annie Macaulay still loved him. He still went back to Annie Macaulay. I don't know what he told Annie Macaulay. Annie Macaulay accepted him and said, okay, I've loved you from the beginning. I'm going to love you for who you are. Annie Macaulay loved Two-Face, married Two-Face with all his dirty baggages. <laughs> Some of you women cannot even stand your man and your boyfriend with ordinary girlfriend, side chick. Imagine baby mamas. Not one, not two not three good small side chick you don't drink sniper small cheating you don't kill yourself small chats just hello dear some of you have died small chat you don't screw your husband for one day imagine what animal Collie had gone through for years having these baby mamas around remember i said we are analyzing this story based on the gist that we know nobody one we don't know good so that's the reason why i'm giving animal Collie to um kudos now everybody's saying animal Collie is fetish Two faces brother came to write at Annie Macaulay's fetish. Annie Macaulay did this one, and Macaulay did that one. And there was a statement he said, He said, Two faces suffering and two faces dying. Really? So, two faces suffering and two faces dying. So, you're trying to make the public feel that Annie Macaulay wants to kill him. Everything two faces Dibia is going through today is the consequences of his choices and mistakes. If Two Face is my brother or my friend, I will tell him, see, Oga, anything where they do you today for your marriage, now your karma. When you men are sleeping around with different women, what do you used to expect will happen to you? There are consequences to it. So any consequences that Two Face is suffering today, it is the things that he did. Leave Anima Kodi Dibia alone. That woman has tried. If she decides to say today that she's not doing again, kudos to her because she has tried in that marriage. You say fetish, and Macaulay is fetish. You hear that Macaulay is fetish. Two Face Dibia's brother is saying that Macaulay is fetish. If Annie Macaulay was truly fetish, Two Face Dibia would not be unfaithful. 
If an Immacoli is truly fetish, Two Face Udibia will not be sleeping around. <laughs> fetish women used to put men inside bottle. Fetish women control men. Fetish women control their men's manhood and their men's sexual libidos. So, she no fetish. For those of you saying, why is Anima Kodi staying with her mother? I'm talking based on the rumor that we are seeing. Why is Anima Kodi staying with her mother? Why is Anima Kodi staying with her mother? Why wouldn't she stay with her mother? Her mother is the only one she trusts. Even me right now, I see my mother every day. If I have an opportunity of my mother coming to live with me, she will be dear. So because I'm living with my mother, I'm fetish. Who am I supposed to live with? When my mother is old as a woman, I'm supposed to take care of my mother. Who else will take care of my mother if not me? Why am I making this video? I'm making this video to tell you societal idiots that when a man starts to suffer for the consequences of the mistakes that he made and the choices that he made, that time he was sleeping around with women and he was acting smart. He was forming Jagaban. He had 65 women around him. When he starts to face the consequences, stop blaming women. Women have tried, though. A lot of women have tried. A lot of women have tried with baggage. They carry men's baggage. You cheat, she's there. You give her STD, she's there. You do all the nonsense you are doing, she's there. When the consequences of your mistakes and your actions come, Oga, face it. Don't call us. And it's one thing, woman, woman, woman. Woman, woman, he used juju. Two faced Dibia is suffering. Two faced Dibia is suffering for the consequences of all his mistakes. The bad choices that he made. That's what he's suffering for. He has no business with Anima Kali. Exactly. Remember, I used to teach you guys about choices and mistakes. You can't keep making choices, bad choices. You can't keep going around and sleeping with different girls. You go to Edo, you will sleep. Calabar, you will sleep. You will go to Congo, you will sleep. You go to South Africa, you sleep. You are sharing spirit. You are sharing your manhood everywhere. When you begin to diminish in your old age, when the consequences of these things that you have done, spreading your seed around, you start to look for who is chasing you from your village. The wicked woman. How wicked your wife is. How wicked your husband is. How wicked your dad is. My point is... As a man, if you come across this video, whether you like the video or you don't like the video, that's your business. My point is just understand that for everything you have done, for every woman you have slept, slept with, for all of your baby mamas, for everything you have done, consequences will fit you. Don't blame your wife. Stop blaming women over your choices. Stop blaming women over your mistakes. Because when a woman holds you on the shirt and tell you, baby, don't cheat on me, you will be that. When a woman hold you on the shed and say, baby, don't go, you will beat her. You will say she's controlling you. You do these things at will. When consequences come, suffer it at will. Remember what I told you, dear women. I want to quickly give you an highlight. A lot of men cannot do without you, women. Women are more powerful than men. Do you know why women are more powerful than men? It's not because of money. It's because a woman can multitask. A woman can take care of herself and take care of other people. Her children, her extended family, her relatives, her colleagues. That is, what, that is the power a lot of women have. A lot of men will want to project marriage to you so that you can come and help them. You see this projection of marriage is because a lot of men need help. That's the honest truth. That's the reason why when you leave a man, he goes to another woman. He cannot stay by himself. <laughs> but when you leave a woman, she can stay by herself. The crime that single women committed is the fact that when they leave us, we stay on our own. That is our crime. We stay by ourselves. We stay with our kids. We no longer want men. They will not come to insult us. That insult is a projection of their fear. Men cannot stay by themselves. They will always look for different women to be jumping around. They will be testing, testing. A woman can stay by herself. That is a power a lot of men are scared of. A lot of men are afraid that women are becoming more aware of themselves. A woman is beginning to invest in her careers. She's beginning to take care of her kids. She's beginning to do business. You know, send man again. So each time they see that you're becoming powerful, they project marriage to make you powerless, to weaken you. Dear women, the day you begin to understand that you don't need marriage. Men need us more. <laughs> Why is it that after everything Adam has, God gave Adam everything and Adam could not stay alone. He gave him Eve. 
my point is stop letting men project marriage to you i am using this video because of some societal idiots i call them societal idiots because societal idiots are men and women especially women in africa that cannot reason when you are divorced when you're single people come and start asking you why are you single why are you not married why did you leave the man i was tired of helping the man the man was draining me i left i decided to start helping myself that is the meaning of being single being single simply means i don't want to help anybody again let me help myself being single simply means i want to invest my energy in myself i want to invest my time and as a woman if you invest your energy your time you that's why a lot of women are successful go and check most successful women they are single they are divorced they have left a man many successful women today became successful and powerful the moment they left a man why because that thing you were doing for a man you put it inside yourself you say man rest let me help myself that's how powerful you are i'm not saying you shouldn't get married i'm not saying marriage is bad i'm not saying men are bad i'm only saying stop letting men project marriage to you stop letting this man use marriage to threaten you stop letting these people make you look as if oh you are not married eh, eh, that marriage is their fear a lot of men are scared of being alone a lot of men are scared of being lonely a lot of men know that they need help that's why in a man's old age when he is rickety he can no longer eat he can no longer move he's looking for a woman that is pushing him around some men are marrying you because of security not because of love some men are marrying you because you they know that you'll be there for them they know that is why they will leave all the independent women marry you that will be there for them and be cheating with independent women a, a lot of men are not marrying you because they love you a lot of men are marrying you because they can use you so when they see that they can no longer use you you have become so powerful and smart they become angry and eh, no wonder you're single <laughs> no wonder you're not married <laughs> no wonder you're not, da, 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 da. that's why you see a lot of men they can attack single women single powerful women the only crime a single powerful woman committed is the fact that she's there to be alone I want to be by myself but you see women don't attack single men if we attack single men they say we are desperate if we say oh why are you not married they will say we are desperate we are single on our own they will say we are not married leave us alone if we decide to create a world for a man and a woman men will die more than women ah yeah papa say the baba i say men will die but we bet because we are built as helpmate we are built to stay on our own we are built by ourselves so i'm also making this video in as much as i'm talking to Annie macaulay and two-face Annie macaulay and two-face if you guys come across this video by mistake so anywhere you see this video i want to tell you something Annie macaulay you're a strong woman i give it to you i respect you even though i've never met you before but trust me i'm a fan i'm a fan of your strength I'm a fan of your zest. I'm a fan of your patience. I'm a fan of your perseverance. I'm a fan of your submissiveness. Because like I used to say, a lot of women are not submissive. A lot of women are just hungry. So they are obeying men that can feed them. A submissive woman is that woman that is powerful. Yet she chose to drop her power to obey a man to submit to a man a submitting woman is not an hungry woman a lot of these women you are marrying are hungry so you are forcing them to submit to you that's the reason why when you do not submit to a man he will withdraw food from you he will withdraw bread from you the only way some women can submit to a man is based on what a man have to give them that is the reason why in relationship and marriage there is no loyalty now hunger a lot of women who think that they are submissive and loyal are hungry women the real submissive woman is a powerful woman that woman that has it all but she drops it all to be with a man that woman that has it all but she drops it all to stand by 